What are leadership and governance? Leadership and governance refer to a discipline that investigates how individuals and institutions provide direction to a group. Leaders and governors seek to provide a vision, be an example to others, and define the group's purpose. Competent leadership forms the basis for the social, political, and economic success of any organization, so it controls all facets of society. Reasons to learn leadership and governance When students decide to take up a particular discipline, they do so for various benefits it will provide them in the future. In this case, the benefits are to accelerate change in society. There are many social problems that can be solved using proper leadership. A good leader can influence others to accept and apply these changes, leading to a better society, to help understand and formulate ideologies, leadership, especially politics requires the analysis and subscription to an ideology that the leader thinks can benefit the community. Having knowledge of the various techniques different leaders use is therefore important for this and contributes to better decision-making, to succeed in business. In order to build and maintain a successful company, one needs to hire skilled leadership that assures you of smooth internal operations from departments such as human resources, marketing, and finance to reflect on past mistakes. Previous leaders may have made mistakes when they used certain ideologies. Hence it is important to understand what is required when trying to undo the damage caused by previous leaders, reduce conflict, understanding the various vital resources and their distribution can help one understand conflict which is often stemming from shortages or competition for access to these resources. Leadership and Governance Essay Topics When dealing with this discipline, you are likely to handle different genres, such as a descriptive essay, which may fall within the following leadership and governance essay topics. 1. What are the different styles of leadership? 2. What gender differences can be noticed in modern leadership? 3. Can transformational leadership help institutions with conservative backgrounds? 4. What benefit do female leaders have in organizations? Does diversity really help in the long run? 5. What is the best organizational structure for optimal productivity? 6. To what extent do the economy and its performance affect the view of a leader as competent? 7. What environmental policies should organizational leaders implement in modern companies so as to be socially responsible? 8. What traits should a good leader have? 9. What are the main things leaders should consider when forming governance policies? 10. What psychological tactics should leaders employ to help their organizations thrive? As you can see, There exists a wealth of leadership and governance essay topics you may be requested to handle. While they are not hard, they require you to perform good research, follow the recommended structure, and the tips to employ is covered in other sections. How to structure a leadership and governance essay? Every essay requires content to be presented in a particular fashion that presents the points in a logical structure. For most essays, This is the introduction, body, and conclusion essay format that allows them to present their thoughts in a flowing manner. For the leadership and governance essay, you will have to follow this structure but change the contents of each to accommodate the content. As such, your essay will have the following parts. 1. Introduction. This is the first section of your paper. It contains a hook which is an introductory statement that grabs the reader's attention. If you have been asked to analyze past events and relate them to something within the realm of leadership and governance, you may begin with a brief summary that states the events as they occurred. However, if the topic is regarding a present event, you may also offer context on the topic at hand. Finish the introduction with a thesis statement that shows the main argument in your essay. 2. Body. In this section, you may present your points and explain them in detail. Most of the time, each point 
should have a separate paragraph, with each providing evidence to prove the point and connecting it to the main topic. Sources should be credible and preferably sourced from scholarly journals, official websites, and conference papers. This section is the largest in your essay, so it goes beyond one paragraph. For more insight on how to handle a leadership and governance essay, consider this body paragraph dealing with the prompt what traits should a good leader have. 3. Conclusion Now that you have completed the essay body, you will be required to close with a concluding paragraph. This section is generally short, and you should begin by reiterating the main points your essay made. For many students, this is easy enough, but you should follow up with an opening for future research and development of the findings made. Tips for the best leadership and governance essay Following the structure is easy enough, but a student should always apply strategies to help them score high marks on their test. For this genre, our leadership and governance homework help experts would recommend the following. 1. Carefully read the prompt before you start. Read and understand the essay topic prompt. Note down the keywords such as analyze, explain, list, or criticize as they explain what the essay requires you to do. Aside from helping you understand what is required, it also helps you adequately prepare for it. 2. Perform thorough research. Once you understand what the essay prompt requires of you, begin research to find data that supports your point. It is this process that allows you to form a thesis statement, which is a statement that summarizes your position on the essay. According to our leadership and governance homework help experts, you can find data to support your point using credible sources from journals, conference papers, and other scholarly sources. 3. Divide your points based on the structure, formulate an introduction, thesis statement, body paragraphs, and conclusion. Each of these sections should have different types of content. The introduction should have information that introduces the topic to the reader, immersing them in the topic of discussion. At the end of the introduction is the thesis statement. After this, you should write the body and include the points that prove your thesis. Last is the conclusion, which summarizes the points made in your essay. 4. Do not be afraid to handle complex or unknown topics. Many students want to hurry through their assignments and often tend to handle generic topics that have a wealth of data online. While they should handle topics that have data available to support their stand, it is still important to handle interesting and intriguing topics that can showcase your analytical and writing skills. However, many students struggle with this, and if you are one of them, you can get quick and affordable homework help from our leadership and governance homework help service experts. 5. Proofread and edit. Once you complete your essay, read through the essay and check for any errors. Afterward, you could ask a peer or instructor to look through the content and advise you on what to change to improve your essay. 6. Order leadership and governance homework help services. Sometimes students feel pressured to perform, but fail to do so. This leads them to seek out leadership and governance assignment writing help services, which relieves them of the time and performance pressure. However, many are wary because there are many scammers who overpromise and underdeliver. So, what should a student look at when seeking homework help services? Let's find out in the next section.